mind is infinite. 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 The name of this show is New Realities, and I like to explore different perspectives, different ideas, and today I have a really different kind of idea. Uh, my guest is Sandy Kane, who's a well-known comic stripper, as a comic stripper, that's the name of her act, and uh, she has her own show here on Manhattan Public um, Access, Manhattan Neighborhood Network. And before I actually interview her, I'll show you a little clip from her show. So, stay tuned. He had Chiquita Pinga in his pants. I knew it when we both started to dance. He had Chiquita Pinga. He had Chiquita. He had Chiquita Pinga in his pants. So I took off my brassiere. Right? I said to him, Hey, buddy, you want to bust in the mouth? Tell me, well, well, how did you become a stripper? Well, the rent was due, and I have double D jugs, so I just took my top off and made money, and it's, you know, been going like that for a long time. And that, and that, did you like doing Well, I, I like the music, and um, I like guess I needed the exposure. <laughs> but, um, no, tell me. I always say, you need exposure, I'm sense. serious. I mean, it's not that unusual that you're a stripper, so what? I mean, there's lots of strippers. I mean, everyone's a stripper. I mean, everyone's yeah, but, naked uh, under their clothes, right? Well, well yeah, but the, right. yeah, it's a whole so world, how though. Did, it's not something when you were young you said I wanted to grow up and be a stripper. Right. You didn't say that. No, I never did that. No. I never, I never, I never, never. wanted it. Ever thought? In fact, I was the mo most modest person in uh, my grammar, sh my grammar school and my high school. I was like, you couldn't curse in front of me. What? So what happened? I, well, well um, I came to New York seeking my fame and fortune as a songwriter, singer, uh -huh. and uh, one year in New York, and I just came. Every what? other word was man, man this, man that. Well, what happened this. to you when you came to New, New York? And the F word, the F word in strip clubs, every other word is the F word. What happened to you when you came to New York? Well, um, I just... So um, you came in at 18, it's not Newark. No, Manhattan is not Newark. You grew up in Newark, New Jersey. And everyone was Jewish. Right. I didn't meet a Gentile fake until I like, left home. And was that exciting? Um, was it exciting? Um, because the people are people. Right. People are people. So you came in to be a singer-songwriter. Yeah. And what happened to you? What, I mean, why did you become a stripper when thousands of other people become secretaries? Oh, excuse me. I did become a secretary oh. for a while for a record company. And uh, um, I became a dancer. I was in Miami Beach, and this guy threw me up on stage. He said, honey, take your top off your height. So, um, you know, I mean... So that was, I guess it's an easy job. <laughs> and, you know, you always wear bikinis in Miami Beach. It's an easy job. It's an easy job. Yeah, and it was the music, you know, uh, you know. Well, I have a few drinks, get up there, and, you know. And, and it was like, I like men. Mm. I love men. Mm. And they, a lot of times they say that lesbians are strippers. And they're really, well, the features are. What? But, uh, the feature dancers are. Are yeah. lesbians. But in, I, in strip club, you say. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I think a lot of the girls I work with love men. Right. And it was a way of like, you know, just meet men instead of like doing it for free. You, right. you, you know, you um, take your top off instead of going out with Joe Schmo. But don't you think it's on a, a Saturday way night. of making women into objects? So, I mean, it perpetuates the kind of um, cycle of men considering women objects. And then, you know, I think clubs and the women consider the men just money objects. So it's like there's not like a true relationship. There's not something, yeah, but something missing. I'll tell you, it's been a very sick project life. I mean, I, I mean, it really has. Uh, I would not recommend being a stripper to anybody. Well, those strippers are dancers. Like, they do have good legs. You're up there, right. you're dancing, you're dancing. And, you know, I it's, think it's fine. You keep in shape. You keep I don't in think shape. there's anything wrong with it. But yeah. It, for me, it's actually more. Not, it is. It is boring. It is very boring. It's boring and, for you? Uh, yeah, it's been very boring. And um, I'm going to say something that's very personal. And if any Please. strip people are, are watching, strip clubs are, the minute a guy walks in, you want to rob him. It, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like sell this guy a $300 bottle of, of water 
and give him as little as possible, then throw him the hell out the door. Why? What's your feeling about this guy? I mean, you don't have any respect for him because he walked into a club? Well, right? it's it's really not. It, it, it's the job is rob this guy and throw him the hell out. Because I mean, you know he has money to spend. And yeah. You know if it, does he have a credit card? Does he have uh, whatever? That's what these women think. Oh, yeah. You I see, mean, that's they, what I'm saying. These I women mean, think of men as objects. And the men who say... No. Oh, I want to have sex with that girl. I like her body, you know, or they're in some fantasy. Well, aren't women like that anyway? Don't they what? go for men for with for money? I, I don't know either. I've been in strip clubs so long, but don't don't women do that anyway? Women, maybe. No, I, I don't think know. women I are. I guess I don't have money, so it's not. Yeah, right. Money. I don't know either, but I think that women are like that anyway. Because so women just go. They're not. What about love? Um. What about love? What about I think really women are really like that. Um, you mean if they just go from men for the money, and hopefully they'll be. No, but I'm just saying a lot of a lot of women do. I've heard men say that that you know this woman only likes me for my money or. And you're saying that's true. Um, I, I, truthfully, um, my life has been so messed up working in strip clubs, as far as having a normal uh, relationship relationships with men, that uh, I am not a good person to ask. So you mean because you work. Clubs, you could not have a normal. No, I, I am so. I'm not going to say the f word. I just really don't feel like it. You know, no, I mean, okay. I've said it enough in strip clubs. Because every other word is f in the strip clubs. Sandy, I'm, okay. I'm just, Sandy. I, I fired my therapist. I hope you don't mind. Sandy, that's okay. She was too messed up. Wait, yeah. back up. No. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? It's been a tough life. What? What's the problem? I mean, you didn't have to. Well, I think it was the music, and um, it was it was easy, like but you said. But what got messed up? I mean, where did it get messed up? I mean, I just want to know. Where did it get messed up? A good question. Mm -hmm. um, um, I think I, I was an entertainer. Yeah. And um, as I said to my sister, it is a stage. And I couldn't get the stage for what Streisand got. Right. So I took, what, the only stage that was available to me. And I would just, and that's how I became a comic. Because um, I would start, you know, a, a guy would say, hey, hey, honey, Stevie Wonder's lucky he can't see when he looked at my face. Mm. And I'd say, hey, you want to bust in the mouth? And then I would start getting laughs from these people. So I, so I went to the comedy club and um, did the same joke. And the joke, really funny like is it. funny. I mean, I was just doing, doing a hit dick stick up there so um that's why they, they say i'm very raunchy but uh to me uh i'm funny i mean it's i i, I am i i come so from you, strip you, clubs they're very raunchy strip clubs so you were doing sex. comedy it's while sex. you were stripping um i was doing comedy was while i was stripping right you were doing, yeah but it sounds like you really me maybe one maybe it was something like that i don't know i mean i'm not a well, I think people like funny people, and right. um, being Jewish, is e it's easy to be, um, see, I became a comic because I could never make it as a singer. They right. started telling me, you've got to be black. I had this song called I Love Dick, yeah. and I said to them, hey, with green, you can do anything, but they said, no, you green, money. Oh. They really told me, all the, all the companies said, you have to be black to have a hit record. I became a comic because I'm Jewish. I didn't want to leave the business. I said, if I love dick, doesn't make it, that's it. And it didn't, didn't make it. Didn't it. Make I lost it. a lot of money on that record. Yeah. So, is there didn't like a, it. is there an obsession with sex as a, a stripper? Um, with strippers? I mean, do you have an obsession with sex? Well, or I think there? I was. I always liked men. I was really boy crazy. Did you have a lot of sex? Um, I used to. I used to have three guys at all times. But um, all I, I, well, my my most my biggest was five. But don't tell my mother. Five? My, my don't yeah. mind if you're listening. Like, like five at one time. Yes. Like yeah. standing on line out there. No, it was um, it was um, a, in a club, and we it was. Uh, early. That's okay. Was that Your really me? Why well, I'm in therapy now. No, that's okay. I mean, well, I, I recently, was I, that, I, I had very, enjoyable, I had a heart to, I had a lot of fun. It was. They had some good drugs, good cocaine. So you had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. It, they were really nice guys. 
And I, I, and I, said, I said to my mother, Ma, you don't know about me, blah, 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 blah. And she says, a mother knows. That it was okay with my mother. Yeah. Was she upset? This age, you know? Was your mother upset? No, she's because I was crying to her. She says, oh, no, they, they were in denial. They didn't want to know. Don't tell me. I won't know. And they won't know. Do you think, though, they were upset? They didn't want to know. But they, they did know on some level, right? Well, now she says, a mother knows. But it was okay? Or it wasn't really? I don't know. I think they, as long as I'm alive. The therapists do have a lot of sex. That's why the men go to the Lately, um, should I say the truth? Did I tell the truth? Tell the truth. Lately, and you know, I, I've, I've quit my strip tell club. The truth is um, now that they give, uh, oh, the truth. It's, uh, if you're watching, I mean, these, the, the owners of these clubs, it's really disgusting that they give a condom with a bottle of champagne. Who do they give the condom? The condom and napkin. Right, to who? To the customer. Oh, they, they say, give well, no, absolutely no sex on the premises, and then they give you a condom. So, and then these women get paid, so they're more like prostitutes. Yes. So the strip clubs have become more like yes. prostitutes. Yes. I hate to say it, but it's a now I'm true. really not going ever going back. <laughs> now I really can't go back. I mean, if you're watching, it's true, man. It's it's really disgusting too. You're there, you're sitting in the back with a guard with a condom and napkins. There's no like you can't say, uh. I, I'm a dancer. I don't do that. Well, there's some women. Hey, roll me, roll me. Oh, yeah. Wait, don't tell me. Some women say that. With I a mean, condom women, and napkins right next to you? Well, the condom. Say, they don't have to do it. Someone's no. telling you. Yeah, it's. Do it. it, 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 it it's the money again. I, you know, it's kind of weird. You're back Thomas, there with a condom. Thomas $300, like the, the guy just paid up. Well, they don't have intercourse. Oh. More like. Or, more, uh. Hand job, Harriet. Okay. Yes. That's what the 150, is. 200, whatever they, you know, whatever. And those are the classy. I guess, it, uh, are they classy? I don't know. Are those the dance clubs? Well, I don't know. yeah. I mean, I, you know, I don't, I, you know, men come in, they spend 200, 300 dollars for a thing. They gotta be getting something. Right. But they, some women don't. Yeah. Well, I don't know any. <laughs> Not the ones I work with. Uh -huh. So the men, you know, are going there and they're getting what they're coming for. Coming for, coming for is right. Oh, just funny. Coming is funny. Coming, coming, coming soon. So I'm doing this movie yes, called The Comic Stripper. The Comic Stripper, which is about your life. Yes, about as a comic stripper. Yes. Right. And we're just talking about making a movie about a Jewish American princess coming to New York and. Taking her top off for one night and it leading to her whole life, and uh, just it, I just really want to make a very New York movie mm -hmm. about Forty Second Street and Eighth Avenue, and also about comedy clubs and how I I and did strip the club. Yes, peep shows, strip club, because I have worked in peep shows. Uh huh. What, and did, what did you do? The that show? was like, what did you know, the rent was due. I was thrown out of flash dancers. They threw right. me out for stealing a muffin. Right. I st they claimed I stole a muffin from the ladies' room. So I muffin. So I came to Show World. They gave me a booth. I, yeah. I showed up. I started doing it. And I what just, do you do? What do you just describe Oh, it? God. You have to bend over and show your... What? Can I say asshole? You can say whatever. Oh. It's you just, can, you know, you show your to, asshole. Yes. And, and you uh, and urinate then. in cups for men. And so it's one at a time, real, one customer at a time? Yes. And they look through a little hole? Uh, well, no, it's more of a glass that comes oh, up. It's a glass. Yes. And, and uh, you're on this one side of the glass dancing, yeah. or are you, are you talking? Talking, whatever they want. Dance for me. You know, show oh, me they'll your, tell you what they want. Yes, it's their thing. And then are they masturbating? Yes. They are masturbating. Yes. I have seen many penises uh -huh. in my life. Exactly. And Irish men don't have small ones, I've got to say. Uh, uh, and uh, some some black men have big ones, uh, small ones. See, you don't know. Are they still like interesting the biggest penis that? I ever saw, I said, what persuasion are you? He said, Irish. I said, wow. You know, that's so wrong that to say Irish men have small ones. And, and, and black men have big ones. And they all look different. Well, um, they all... All the same. It's funny how, like, when, once you do the job, it's, it's no big deal. You well. when, when you're with other women, yeah. or these these chicks with dicks that are doing it, right. some men love dicks, 
anyway, um, when, once you're with these people, it's nothing. It's a job. It's a job. It's a job. It's competition. Who made the most that day? Who saw the most penis that day? And, and these guys are masturbating. Yes. And they're getting off, and right. you're doing your dance. And right. And it's and just a job. It's just a job. But there's something that dumbed out. Right. I well, landed can you out. Talk about that. But, I, mean, I did land up in therapy. I don't think there's anything wrong with anything. But you know, it's doing, not. It's not so bad. Yeah. I was broke. You know, people think right. that. That strippers make so much but money. Let's talk I, about what gets out of you. What, I, like, what gets I wouldn't mind going. if I was loaded with money. No, but really, it's I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. What, what happens? What shuts down in you? Disconnect from. That's the part that. Well, uh, you you really learn um, that men are much different than women. That you know, men come in with their three piece suit with their attache case ready to go home to New Jersey with their two kids and their wife in a house coat right. and they must masturbate. They must masturbate. They must have this sperm thing all over the window. They, and, they, they masturbate onto the window. Right. <laughs> you know, it was like, and, you know, you know, making like, the, this is it, you know, I'm going home to my wife with the two kids. Do you think That's it's it. a relief tension? <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I know that women don't have to do that. I mean, women don't go to, to and look at a good-looking George Clooney type and stick their middle finger in their vagina and go, oh, oh, oh. It's like, you know, I mean, I'd like to be with George Clooney, then I'd have an orgasm, but... Uh, <laughs> well, I, do, I mean, it sounds like it's it built up for... I mean, yeah. I don't know. That's what don't I mean. men... Aren't you a man? Don't yeah. you can't relate to that? That I you know. go into a booth and masturbate to a beautiful me. woman? I no. like more... Per Content. Okay, I, like I guess you, like there's a lot of men that aren't like you. Right. And, uh... I personally like to feel connected and know the person. And, <laughs> I mean, not, I'm attracted yeah. to lots of people, but, I mean, for me, I, I mean, there's lots of beautiful women, but, like, I don't feel like doing that, you know? Yeah, I, you, I mean, your, your penis doesn't get hard if they bend over and show their hands. It might, but it doesn't okay. mean, like, okay. I want to run and have sex with them. Right. That, I mean... There's an attraction, great, but it, it, I still like that personal contact. Maybe right. old fashioned. But yeah, right. But I think maybe you know. So you've been on the Howard Stern show three times. And how is Howard? Hi, Howard. <laughs> um, how is Howard? Thinking of Dick. Um, what's he like? Um, what's he like? How yeah. Howard Stern is a small one. No, but no. Besides that, uh, he always talks about it. But anyway, actually, I do want to keep talking about what really happens with between men and women in right. these clubs and what what would you tell these guys if you could sit down and talk to them what what would you say what what kind of um well men um the men are like this and I'm, I'm sure women can relate to this um because y you can have a date with a guy and he's mm -hmm. like all hot and bothered he'll take you to dinner and mm -hmm. all that man and all of a sudden like he'll take you to bed he'll come and bye Mm. You know, and it's the same thing with um, in, in peep shows. But they don't want to know you. They're like, oh, they you're the most beautiful girl in the world. I love you. So oh, it's more like, it's what like are we a doing? drug in a way. It's like they're doing and a they're, drug. They're getting and high, and that, and they, there's nothing. After they come, it's at the door. Do you think it could be possible that it could be different? Like sex could be like in the tantra, about tantra, where they there's a more of an intimate contact between men and women between the couple. And, and there's a building of energy. I mean, have you experienced that? I, I went with some man for seven years. Mm -hmm. So definitely, definitely there's, um, there's still hope in my heart. Some women will come and, and uh, be like that. I'm not but, saying we have to reform time for but, I guess, but how would you suggest that something like that could happen? I think that now you asked me, how has this yeah. affected you being a stripper? Yeah. And um, I was talking to um, the producer of this show and her, She's a very beautiful woman, mm -hmm. and, and she was talking about a, a date she had, and I, I just looked at her and I said, you know, I have lost the social skills to relate to a man mm -hmm. in a normal type of way. I've lost them. You've lost them because you started to see them as objects. No, it's just like I've been in strip clubs so long, and, and the minute a guy walks in, you go, oh, hi, how are you? I'm Sandy. What's your name? You're from Kansas City? Great, let's have a drink. You want to go to the VIP room for three hundred dollars? You know, mm -hmm. it's like, how do you say? Yeah, how do you relate to a man without that? You know, it's just. Well, how do you think, outside the clubs? Do you relate to him differently? No, I haven't had a date in uh, fifteen years. 
But if you see a man that you're just meeting, uh, like casually. pretty fast. No, I really don't. I can't relate to men, and uh, and you'd like I would. And therapy hasn't helped you. No, the therapist needed more help than I did. So if you're with somebody and outside the club, what what kind of stuff comes up for you? What comes up? <clears throat> um. It's just very hard to um, have a, a, any kind of a relationship. You know, when I was younger, is it, it was just what? Is it because you can't just feel like you can't just be yourself? Yes. You always have to put on an act. Right. And right. But who you are is actually very nice. Who am I? Well, person without the act. But I don't really know who that person That's, is. You don't have to know. Okay. It's just, it's just what comes through when, when you just kind of drop in. Yes. That's who you are. That's who I And that's actually a lot more interesting to me. Uh-huh. I mean, I see, like, much more softness and and beauty. Mm hmm I mean, I'm just seeing that now. Well, thank you. And really it's nice. really nice to um, to to uh, have someone say that to me. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, you know, this is just my opinion. It's just letting go of the act and just dropping in and feeling. That that might be a way to start something new with men, you know. And and for you, I mean, it won't be over the top comedy, but it'll be it'll be more honest. I've had problems um, being myself with men for many years, and the one man I had was like he was like an old chew to me, and I liked him because I felt comfortable with him. He was not my type. He was totally not my type. He just wasn't my type. I mean, George Clooney, I would have a problem with because he's so such a good looking guy. That this guy was like an old shoe, and we we went to, together for seven years. So I've always had a problem with men I really love. So and I th I've heard that before from so so some people say, "Why don't you just picture them on the toilet?" <laughs> do you? Yeah, I do. But George Clooney on the toilet would probably be good too. Yeah. So what? So your career now is you're getting away from stripping. Because you're tired of that, and you're. Well, now that I said what I said, I'm definitely out. I hope I don't get murdered after the, the show. I think what don't you said me. is like it's, it's the truth. Yes. I don't think that turns people off from going to clubs. If they want to go to clubs and experience that, that's right. I mean. Yeah. But you're. No. But it sounds like you're finished with. You're yeah. complete. Well, you would think that now that the pressure is on the clubs to clean up their act, Why? they would have. They didn't. They got raunchier. Got raunchier. Yeah. They got no. It's yeah. really a, it's a whorehouse where I work. And uh, it's really and so it, 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 the pretense of a strip club, but you're saying it's really a lot of problems. Yes. That's okay. Yeah, and, and that, that you know. But you think uh, they'll have trouble with government agencies and all that? No, I no. think that, that I think um, men need to have orgasm. They, they like, it's a service. Girls give it to them. They're not going all over the streets and getting AIDS. It's clean. It's napkins, it's a condom, and I think that we have to face reality that men are like this. Wait, they wait, need I this, don't think men are like that. I uh, think the society But many of them are. Yeah, but that's because they've been conditioned to disconnect from some intimate contact with women. They And women have perpetuated too by looking a certain way, but I think, um, you know, the whole model of sex is the pretty face and, and the man just right. being attracted without, and I've been conditioned that way too, mm -hmm. being attracted to the Playboy model or to right. the magazines. And so the, what's better in the magazine is a real live woman that mm -hmm. you don't have to actually connect with. But it's just one step over like our conditioning as, as, as young boys. <laughs> To yeah. think of women that way, and I don't think that's really but, who men but, are. But strippers are, or, like, you know, I was there, I was, you know, where you're from, Kansas City, or, right. and know. you, you know, a guy would talk about his job, and we would talk, so these girls are real girls, and, yeah. and that's how, and then they do get comfortable with the girl, and then and they how go. can we, like, disconnect from the, um, that condition? I mean, how do you see, it? being an insider, how, like, this other more sensitive, Healing can happen because I think that's the only way things will change. I mean, if some people on the inside, I mean, I don't think things will change. And I think that as strippers, people need right. beautiful girls. They are beautiful girls. They they know how to dance and they know how to dress seductively. And I, I, guess I, I think, true. yeah. I mean, the, the bottom line is that being a stripper is a uh, um, job, and it it takes a lot of uh, 
you had to make your face up, how to dress, and how to dance. So it's a job. And but it's perpetuating uh, an element in sorry, our Sorry, I ever did it, but... Were you sorry you ever did it? Oh, right? yeah. But that's the thing. Women will get attracted young with beautiful bodies, and they'll get stuck in the position that you've been stuck Right. In. Right. And not be happy because it doesn't sound like you. And time. no money. Well, very poverty-stricken life. I mean, you don't want. Well, you said you can make three hundred dollars in. No, the, that no, that three hundred doesn't go to you. Oh, it goes good. to the house. So there's a, so then they can become prostitutes. You're saying, but then they no, don't need they, a house to do that. Right. No, it's just like the, the, the owner of the club makes the money. You don't make the money. So what? What's going to stop very, a woman who is going to the club just becoming a prostitute? I mean, why can't you? go out on the street and do the same thing. Because um, being uh, in a club, you know, it, it's like, you know, the music, you know, you, you're, I mean, I was a dancer, a dancer. I love the records, I love Donna Summer, I love Gloria Gaynor, I love, uh, so you like that, but, you know, John Cougar Mellencamp, so I was up there. We're almost out of time, but just, I just smoking a joint and dancing, Just you know. for me, it's like, what it's would fun. you say, I mean, the women that, that, See that as an easy way to make money. It's fun. It can be fun, and it beats typing. But Just, you do recommend it. See, I, man, I don't know what, you, what was wrong with me. Some girls get in it and get out. I happen to be in it for too too long. Mm -hmm. So if you can get in it and get out, but um, I would never ever recommend it to. I mean, I, okay. what can I say? Congrats. Thank you. Oh, my TV show, the oh, Comic yeah, Shiver. Yeah. This is uh, Sandy has a TV show on Manhattan Table. So the comic stripper, Sandy Kane Blue Show. Well, thanks, Sandy. It's been really fun having you here. And if you have any comments or um, ideas about the show, you can call me at 212 or email me at alan, A-L-A-N, at B-I-T-X-B-I-T dot Thank you for watching. Thanks, Sandy. You've been great. And thank you.